All right, so um, at Microsoft, our mission really is to uh, empower every person and organization on the planet to achieve more. Um, we emphasize on the planet so that, you know, we're not just thinking about a small business in a place like Michigan or, uh, you know, a, a kid out in New York City. We're really talking about everybody on the planet, including a kid in rural Kenya, where I actually grew up without an internet connection. Um, so that really is our mission. Um, but this becomes very difficult in this day and age because about 4.5 billion people around the world do not have internet access. Um, here in the United States, it's about 5 million, I believe. Um, and so it really becomes difficult if you're a cloud-based company like us, you know. We no longer send you a CD in the mail, right, with an with a access code on it. Um, these days, we usually just turn on a tap once you sign on, uh, and at the end of the month, if you don't pay, you know, we turn it off. So that's really how uh, uh, we work these days, and it becomes really difficult if uh, people are not connected to the internet. So when we talk about internet connection at Microsoft, uh, what are we really thinking about? Uh, we're not thinking about people just being able to send a WhatsApp message or a Facebook message here and there. We're really talking about internet connection that drives productivity, right? So we're talking about you being able to use Skype for business. We're talking about um, an education institution being able to have their students really uh, you know, download papers, work on papers, upload their homework. So that's the kind of internet we want. So we want it to be ubiquitous, to be everywhere whenever it's needed or whatever point in time. We need it to be robust. So it needs to be able to support um, applications that are really latency sensitive, right? So applications that really consume a lot of data. That's what we really need and that's what we're working on. So how are we going about this? Um, we really focus on partnerships, right? So three words, partnership, partnership, partnership. That's how we're going, really going about this. And um, some of the partnerships that we have, uh, we have about 18 projects worldwide. And recently, we just launched a, a grant fund. And we took about 12 entrepreneurs from really every single, I mean, not every single, but from like five different continents, um, from about 11 different countries. And we're bringing them together to really um, help them uh, you know, like really think about what the business models are to really be able to drive this connectivity. Um, so, you know, Microsoft itself is not an internet service provider. We're not an ISP. We don't have a cable coming into your home. We don't have a tower in which we're able to uh, beam internet. So our goal here is to really work with these ISPs and really try to help them drive um, their business models. So one of the areas we really work on is TV white spaces, um, and that's a technology that really brings Wi-Fi, uh, which we all know usually works in a small room like this, but then be able to push it down within the UHF and VHF area and have Wi-Fi really go for like a really you know, long range, really long distance, uh, can go through mountains and all these different things. So that's really one of the technological points that we're working with these um, companies, these ISPs, uh, to really provide internet connection. Um, another key area that we work on is talking about how to access capital, uh, providing them with cloud services so that they're able to like, really scale up some of their services. Um, I have just a few seconds left, um, but I'll be happy to talk about this more. I'm going to be speaking in the next session, um, but I, hopefully this gives you a flavor um, on how we are tackling this problem. Thanks. <laughs>